Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived two girls that ruined each other's day. A terrible fight that made them really mad led them down a long path that was very bad. Two college girls, roommates they were not, a big disagreement led to two terrible plots. Hey Violet. Hey Rose. Can I have some of your MLI books? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks, Violet. What the heck, Rose? Each girl retreats to conjure pranks in each other's rooms. Violet's glorious plan would take much time to land, but to her delight, it would cause the biggest fright. She gathers her supplies, which would include garbage bags and time, and the very next day, her plan went underway. She knew Rose never locked her room, so she knew that during her morning class, she would act, have to act super fast. She hung the garbage bags all over the room in such a way that they would cause the biggest doom. To her utter dismay, she opened her door to find her room in the biggest disarray. She wanted to scream in fury because this mess would take forever to clean up and she wouldn't be able to hurry. Rose waited for the opportune moment, which came soon enough. Violet slipped to the bathroom with no fuss. She got another phone from her friend who lived on the floor. and then hit her phone in a drawer. A short while later, the cricket sounded. Violet was shocked at the noise and that? wouldn't stop looking until she found it. She looked everywhere up and down until she found the annoying sound. It was now time for Violet to get even. That night, even though Rose was sleepy, she definitely duct taped Violet's door, which to normal passerby looked rather creepy. As morning dawned, Violet sleepily awoke. She drearily climbed from her bed to the door she poked. Rose? She opened the door without looking ahead. To her utter surprise, she finds herself spread. As she pulls herself away from the sticky mess, she grabs her scissors as she vows to be the best. Through the tape, she hacks and cuts, and she will not stop. No ifs, ands, or buts. Revenge is not bitter. Revenge is sweet. Rose is now in for a shocking treat. Rose left to go to track, and in her hurry, she accidentally left her door open a crack. Violet snuck in with revenge as her guide. She toilet papered the room, and to no one would she confide. She threw the paper here and there, and watched as the white strands flew everywhere.
After working up a sweat, Rose opens her door and becomes quite upset. After some thought, she cleared the toilet paper from the floor and decided that this shouldn't happen anymore. She wanted to make amends because she was beginning to miss her bestest of friends. She walked to Violet's door, ready to say she was sorry, so they would agree these pranks were to be no more. She knew that Rose was right, and so it didn't take long for Violet to see the light. So the ending of this tale is quite happy. The two remain friends, though at times they can still be snappy. Though their resolution took a little time, they realized that it was the best moment for the ceasing of the rhymes.